Yeah, th there is of course the, the idea that uh, art is created in a mysterious, intuitive, emotional process. But actually, when you talk with painters or composers uh, or writers, you know, then there's a certain art in the sense of skill and technical know-how, how to do things. And so the, the, the artist is not so, uh, let's say, irrational and intuitive as, as you may think. They don't like to talk about it. Some artists do, and Luc Thuymans is interesting for me because he can talk about what he's doing, and he's willing to talk about it. And he can also point to a painting, whether it is uh, Caravaggio or uh, you know anyone else, and be very specific about the, the, the method, the artistic method that is being used. Um, so in that sense, you know, this doesn't mean, because meaning has many facets, right? There's the, um, there's the purely formal aesthetic meaning, like in an abstract painting, but then there's the factual meaning, what's, what's on the, what is there, what is depicted. But there's also the expressive meaning, the emotion. Uh, there is the uh, cultural meaning. You know, what, uh, what does this image mean? There's the, also the, uh, the goal of the artist. Why did he pick this topic now? And all of these things, you see, so they're all together. It's one web of meanings. And they include the emotional and, and the perspective and maybe a political statement or social issues, you know? And so they, they all come, come together and they're captured then in, in this one, one painting. And this is a force of art that it is able to, to do that uh, and including what I would call pre-verbal meanings or non-verbal meanings, which we cannot express, you know, nicely, but they are there, but not every meaning that, that we deal with can be expressed in words. And so the artworks can express or can reflect or evoke meanings that are not so easy to describe. So, uh, yeah, so I think the, the, it may look like it's a very rational way to approach the subject, but it, it is true, it's a sort of we ask about the artistic method and how does it work, you know, and then you, you have to become technical. Of course, when you stand before the work, you forget about all that. Or if you listen to, I don't know, uh, an opera by Wagner, you just sit there and, and it happens. But I mean, the construction of this opera was based on uh, enormous uh, technical skills of the composer and every note is there for a particular purpose. And it can be explicated why it is there, you know. So, so I think uh, the same to some extent, maybe less, but the same is true for painting. <laughs>